Kivunguri is famous for the production of milk, and almost every household keeps a dairy cow. Warohio as an institute has greatly turned around the lives of dairy farmers as they also offer training on livestock farming. For maximum production of milk and dairy farming, Joseph takes us through different steps that must be carefully considered. These include breeding, feeding, and shelter. Githunguri has 25,000 dairy farmers registered. Dairy farming is an economic backbone to Kiambu County, making Warohio very effective as they offer trainings to farmers on dairy farming. Ukiagalia historia kiabu wiko na wafugaji wegi sana. Kama githungori for example, wako na society wiko na wakulima more than 25,000 registered members. Ambao wana deliver maziwa kwa fresher. Bila huu bila muradi wa maziwa githungori, hakugekua na economy. Economy ya githungori igekua shini sana. Na tunajua maziwa ina, inahitajika kila mahali. Kama mji, mjijini Nairobi, Kiambu 
Ruth and Jerry, well known as Mama Jane, is a dairy farmer living just one kilometer away from the institute. One of the farmers was reaped from the training at Warohio. She keeps dairy cows and her cows produce 150 liters of milk on a daily basis. She welcomed us warmly in Hawanika land where she lives as well as practices dairy farming. Mama Jane runs this business with her husband, assisted by two farm attendants. They have a total of 12 cows, which she milks twice every day, both morning and noon, getting a total of 150 liters per day. Mama Jane gets other benefits as well, as she is able to sell manure to her neighbors. She also says that profits are really good considering that she is paid 38 Kenya shillings per liter. Considering the cows give a total of 150 liters, that multiplied by 38 Kenya shillings per liter leaves her pocket with a cool 5,700 Kenya shillings on a daily basis. <laughs> She encourages other farmers to visit Warohio Institute for training on how to handle livestock. The principal of Warohio Training Institute has identified areas where he feels many farmers get it wrong. One is that many farmers are still using old methods of farming which are not effective anymore. Every business has its ways of evaluating the success based on the goals set. For Warohio Institute, the success is evident from the farmer's achievements. Warohio as an institute has great plans for the future. One is to continue bringing information and keep updating the farmers on the changing technologies. Secondly, to add more training projects in the institute, among others. Siku za uzoni za waruhi ni kwamba iwe institution ambayo iko na kila kitu. Iko na marooms kama mia moja na kitu. Ili wakulima wakiwata three classes unaweza kuhanda. Iwe na conference halls ambazo zinaweza kutoshea wakulima kama mia moja, mia moja hamsi. Alafu, Waluhiu iwe na infrastructure ya maji, iwe na maji ya kutosha, kuogeza area ya kilimu. Kwa sababu sisi tumepanga, ya kwa baba 2022, tuwe na eka karibu kumina ine, ambazo ziko ada drip irrigation. Na tuwe na dam ambayo iko katikati ya shamba. Hili, maji yetu iwe maji yetu tuwashe tu, tu, tu kungangana na wakulima katika kare kamuto tunafuruta maji. Sana sana tukianza kukibizana na kukompiti na wakulima, hiyo kamuto kana kauka wakati chakura yako hiko kwa shamba, unapoteza una kila kitu. Na kubuka juzi tulipoteza kilopu kubwa sana, kukawa na few DD baya sana ya wakulima, wakati kamuto ilikuwa imekauka. Iliku ime kwa hiyo uh, fusha yetu ni tuwe na, na, na damu yetu kubwa, hiko na uh, zaidi ya lita milioni ya moja hivi, ama milion ya hamsini, alafu tuwe na infrastructure ya kuileta juu, tuweke tanki kubwa, alafu sasa tunapereka by gravity. Ile ingine ni kwamba waruhiu njulikane kiambu yote, kila mkulima haya najua kuna waruhiu. So kuna, shari, kuna rengo la kufanya database ya wakulima, alafu tunawatumia SMS kila siku, tunawa device ya kwamba sahi ni wakati wakupanda. Na mahali frani mutapada, area frani mutapada mahidi ya inai. Mahali frani mutapada maharago ya inai. Na mnai, tuwe tunashirikiana tuna na wakulima wakila wakati. 
ya tatu ni kwamba wakulima wote kwanza wale young people tunaweza kuwaita the future farmers of Kenya kwa sababu sasa hii wakulima wale wako wengi ni wazee tunataka sasa kubadilisha young people ama the youth wawe nini wawe dio wakulima tunaweza kuwaita kwa ufupi the future farmers of Kenya hawa wazazi na na walimu na leaders wote wa Kiambu kila mahali kanisa viongozi e, wa vijiji viongozi wale wako wahimise watu watu wao wachanga waje waruhi kutoka primary school turudishe zile 4K clubs na young farmers clubs kwa secondary school ili hawa watu wakija hapa tunawapatia ile mutisha ya kuwa wakulima kwa sababu every time wakulima wale young people wakija hapa niwaambie do you know the future farmers of Kenya oh, the future the future billionaires will be farmers wanaanza kustuka wanaanza kulia rais kuna areas of investment sio tu IT sio tu kuwa daktari sio tu kuwa pilot lakini kuna ile ukulima kwa sababu kuna umuhimu sana wa kulisha watu wetu na population ya Kenya bado inakuwa sasa hivi nime, nimeambiwa na mtu ati tuko 47 million ilikuwa nafikiri bado tuko 40 sasa 47 million kwa sababu tumeogeza 7 million mouth to feed. Kwa hivyo tunataka hawa watu waje waruhiyo na wakija waruhiyo kati kutoka Kiambu tuwafundishe wale wakulima waweze kutumia zile mashamba kwa jia kwa kumakitumia binu mpya ambazo zitaogeza zita mazao. Hata kama ni hiyo kahawa, hata kama ni hiyo majani chai, hata kama ni hiyo dairy, hata kama ni hati kasha, zote tuwafundishe kuku gurue my uh, mushrooms eh? kuna vitu nyingi sana za kufanya alafu tuwafundishe value addition so tungetaka tu kuwe na value addition ama agro processing center iko na mashini zote za kufanya value addition ili mtu akija hapa anatoka akiwa complete wacha yeye achague kile kitu atafa atafanya hiyo ndio ndio feature yangu ya kuwa once one stop tunaita one technology stop center before calling it a day We interviewed the casual workers working at the farm and this is what they had to say. Kwa majina yangu naitwa Philomena Wagale na niko hapa Warohio Agriculture Training Center. Sasa hii ni wakati wa kupanda. Tunapanda boga, tunapanda mahidi, nyanya, gojet, kila kitu. Kuna vitu mingi sana tunapanda hapa na kumenisaidia kama mimi mkulima. Sasa mimi nijaambia watu kama wamama hivi wakuje huku warohio wasome vile wanaweza faidika na kupada. Juu hata wamama waki waki wamama wakijua waki kupanda watafaidika hata nyumbani. Watoto wao watasoma vizuri. Juu hata wazee hawafanya hivi kazi nzuri kama wamama sasa ningependa wamama wote wakuje wa, wasome kupada hii nini mahidi boga kila kitu ndivyo wafaidike nyumbani kwao tumefaidika sana na ukulima wa vitu vya miezi mitatu hadi tisa. mahindi maharagwe mboga aina nyingi pia tuna ngombe ya tuna kahawa. Tumewasaidika sana. Maana hakuelewa kitamba. Ati kuna mimea ya miezi miwili ama siku tano ama siku ishirini. Sasa tuko hapa tumesoma wakati wa show na tumefaidika sana. Wakulima hapa wakipata manji watakuwa wakilisha wa, watu yao na kuusa. Kitu ile tumekosa hapa ni manji. Wakulima wakipata manji hapa watakuwa hata shamba sikiwa ndogo watafaindika kitu tumekosa hapa area hii maji tu tungekuwa na mambo mingi sana tukembata maji kauti gesutaidia na maji maji yenyewe ilete watu hata mtu wa prot ya 100 awe na familia yake aanze masomo hapa atafaidika kwa maana mboga sinda sana na mboga inakuliwa kila wakati mboga inatoka pahali gongori na nembali sana 
Waro hiyo hiyo kipata manji. Itawisia watu wa elia hii, mboga na mamba mengine.